hi guys welcome to our next video and on the previous video we talked about how to create compositions and what compositions were all about on this video we are going to be treating the project panel okay let us begin so as we get to go you you learn more from compositions all right and how to composite okay so in after effects every element that is brought into the program is placed into the project panel it links all what we bring into after effects all our imports okay so as a beginner there are few important things you need to learn about the project panel before we move on so in this video i'm going to discuss the project panel in a bit more depth i know we've been doing it before but i'm going to add uh, more depth all right and i'm going to show you media elements brought into the program how they are managed and how they can be placed into your timeline for editing and after this video you get a better understanding of how it works and you feel more comfortable moving forward so these are the topics we are going to cover first of all the project panel so we have it here so everything we import comes here like you can see we have two panels here we have two panel but this we are going to talk on this later but we are focusing on the project panel okay so before i move on if your um, workspace um, changes you can come here right on windows if you um mistakenly maybe change any setting or shifted anything to anywhere as a beginner it always happens you can come to window then you change the workspace you can reset just click here reset all right that's for that so we'll come back to our project panel so we have everything all our files here be it videos and anything we've got we we'll always have it here okay so but it's very good to organize your work so in your project sometimes you might want to put your all your images in one folder i can say images okay so all my images can come here i believe these are all images i can drag and drop just like the way you do in normal windows putting things inside folders i can just drag and drop when you choose this green plus icon i leave it okay so you see our work will become more organized so i put it here i put this here i put this also yeah okay so you see that's a bit organized so we have other compositions here okay so there's a way i can group this too so these are folders these are not compositions because so that you don't get confused because i've been referring to compositions as folders so i can understand it but we're talking about real folders here creating real folders to organize your work okay you likely do this in photoshop to to group your work okay so i can name another folder um i can say video because you likely have video in your work okay no i don't want to create it under this one so i have to bring it out let me just delete it i don't want to get you confused so i'll close this and i'll create another folder all right i just click here create another folder then i name it videos so you can group all your videos you have here you can put them okay so i can say a new folder again and um maybe i name it composition okay um logos okay so i can do composition logos so i can put all my commission in here depends on what you are doing okay depends on what you are doing so my work becomes more organized okay okay i can just name this let me see scenes you must have watched movies you know scenes ah okay i can see scenes let me just name it scenes so i have all my scenes there this thing too i'll likely put it here even this my phone i would like to put it here so just see the way my work is now it's very organized so when i'm looking for something i'm not confused okay i'm not confused so if i want to put something on the timeline i can likely close on my tab if you don't want to overwhelm you i close on my tabs okay so i can open a tab from here open it up from let me see scene let me open scene too so what i just do i just double click then it opens here you can see that we are no longer on comp one we are in scene two okay so i can pick something and put it there i already have it here i don't have to import that kfc logo again or the twitter logo i already have it in my project panel, so i can put it here again okay so guess what we'll do we can reduce the size okay okay so that's how to drop it in your timeline so you can apply an effect to it we've not started any animation yet or just knowing how to place our elements so that's it you pick things from there and you put it here okay so 
that for that to everything you have in your timeline you would likely have them here you likely have them here you can use this part to make comments these are just to make your workflow easy all right you can make a comment and say okay you can say 32 scenes two scene just you can see my comment here just organize your work just organize your work and if you have any footage here maybe videos you can use this part to interpret it okay it will show you the settings the configuration of that video we'll discuss on this maybe much later okay so that's it or uh, i just want to go in the aspect of of um motion graphics all right like i said you can be used to do um vfx so we are not going much into that area people can just touch a little but not diving in into it so that's i'm just touching on this part a bit okay we can also create a new composition from this place okay create a new composition the same thing okay the same settings and everything so that's for that that's for that you can also delete a folder or anything you want to delete we have the delete icon here directly press delete to ask if you want to delete you can say yes or you can click here the same thing okay our layers and our imports our photos and everything in our project panel is more organized so here you can search for things you know when you have a lot of things here it's very difficult to find some kind of thing so you can search for things you can search for search for it to show you to show you here if i have named all these things if i had it, this uh, a twitter logo to show me to just filter it out and show me then when i'm done searching i can add it so it does not overwhelm you it makes your work very easy to search for your they are all right so you can add them to different compositions so that's it for the project panel i believe you've learned how to organize your work properly and i know most designers are very lazy about organizing their work but um, this must have motivated you to um, organize your work properly because like i said it is very dangerous don't think you can do that in photoshop and get away with it you can't do that in after effect and get away with it on our next video we'll be doing something very interesting i know you all have been wondering when are we going to get something to move when are we going to get something to move ekd but our next video we're going to be diving into animation okay we're going to be going into animation proper by learning animation principles so you don't want to miss the next video see you on our next video don't forget to like subscribe and share okay see you on our next video